This is Modern Homesteading. So with all the hardware cleaned up, the last thing we need to do is to clean up these threads. If you look there closely, you'll see that they're kind of chewed up a little bit. Uh, probably had a plier on them or something. So we'll use a tap and die set uh, to chase what they call chasing these threads down. This is a tool that's used to cut threads. This is, uh, we'll cut, this is the, uh, the die portion of it. And then of course the tap portion is what you would use for the, the wing nut. And it just so happens uh, that I have uh, received a really nice special gift uh, from one of my young subscribers um, by the name of Jake. Uh, Jake sent me a very nice handwritten letter um, and a Christmas present and it was a box full of his old grandpa's tools. He uh, found the videos by um, searching how to sharpen an axe. He wanted to, to learn those skills and my video came up and he's been a faithful subscriber, subscriber ever since. So everything you see here, these bit and brace bits and this adjustable bit and this really interesting old combination square um, and a small bag of bits and uh, a, a drive tool, he sent these all belong to his grandfather and he knew that they would be in good hands and sent them on to me so I want to thank you for that Jake and I have been waiting uh, for a special opportunity where I could use these tools and it just so happens uh, that I needed a 7 16 by 14 uh, tap uh, to clean out this wing nut for this very special saw and I will be using um, I'll be using that on here so Thank you very much for that. And, and his mother also sent uh, three really nice screen printed Wrangler Star t-shirts, or sweatshirts, hoodie sweatshirts. And we have been wearing those and enjoying those. So thank you, Jake. And this portion of the video is for you. I want you to know that your grandpa's tools uh, will be cared for and will be passed on to my son uh, if the Lord tarries. So thank you very much, Jake. So using the tap, pretty straightforward. I just ran this through here to clean these out. And this is a 7 16 by 14 tap. And what that means when you see the numbers that'll be written on them, 7 16 by 14, uh, means 7 16 is the diameter of the thread cut and the 14 are how many threads in one inch. So a fine thread like you would have on a camera lens, you know, or camera body type, different types of things are really, really fine. Uh, this is a st standard coarse thread. So that's what those two numbers mean. And then of course, we'll take this and clean this up a little bit. They're not too bad, but they're just, this will just knock off the burrs. Oops, start the right way. And it's a good idea to use a little bit of cutting fluid uh, when you're cutting. This is a, it's not like regular oil. Cutting fluid is different. Oil lubricates, uh, cutting fluid not so much. It does lubricate, but it also allows it to cut. So those are pretty rough. You don't want this, you don't have to fight this stuff when you're out in the field. And if you have a something, a, a thread that's rusty and tight and you have to put pliers on it all the time, just take a moment, get yourself your little tap and die kit and chase these a few times, run them back and forth and that will cut nice, clean. Look how much better it's turning. When you get a spot that's rough, just work it back and forth a few times until it goes nice and smooth. Each time I pass that by there, it's getting better. See that? Now, we've run the tap and the die through. We can put our, look at that. Everything was, people used to take pride in things. Even the wingnet manufacturer puts their logo, their maker's mark on there. But uh, look at that. Remember how rough that was before? You know, now, thanks to Jake and his grandpa's tools, we have a, a fantastic working set of threads there. So now we can turn our attention to the handle. We'll get this cleaned up. I've said this before, but for the benefit of those joining new, the best value in sandpaper you're going to find from the professional auto body shops. Go to the places where the body guys uh, buy their supplies. It's so much cheaper and so much better to use. This comes in rolls and it's got adhesive on the back, big rolls. I've used this for years and they're made to stiff on, stick on the back of a sanding board like that. Uh, but what's nice about it is when you do peel off a piece, piece it's got adhesive on the back and it sticks to your hand nicely. So, and it just helps so you can sand, it sticks to your hand and 
nice. You don't have to cut it, you don't have to fool around with it, and it's uh, just the only way to go. So I would get a 180 and a 320. Those are just about right. 320 is a nice finish for tool handles. 180 is fine. Uh, 320 is even better if you want it to be glass-like. But uh, this is the way to go. So we'll start with a 180 and we'll clean up this vintage handle and then treat it. Look at that. Always a surprise. Atkins number 24. An original Atkins handle. Isn't that cool? Awesome. Thank you Patrick. So with the original handle all finished off with 320 there, we'll use the uh, ubiquitous boiled linseed oil, the best treatment uh, for wood, your tool handles. I don't know what type of wood this is. Got the Atkins number 24, Atkins number 24 handle, you can still see the original lathe tool marks in there. It's pretty. Has a nice vintage look to it. Nice handle. Boy, it's rare to get these old handles like this. I've been so lucky to uh, have so many come through my hands. Patrick was telling me that uh, that he has a lot of old tools, lots and lots of saws and and different things. And I asked him if he'd had any carpenters as a carpenters as is a is used for tool for chipping. It's kind of like a little like a chisel, but it has a rounded handle on it for doing. Uh, concave and different things really handy I don't have any and they're almost impossible to come by I've never seen any used anywhere and he said he was gonna look and see if he had some so anyone who is has these old tools that if you don't want them anymore or you're not gonna use them or just want a, someone that's gonna take care of them um, and you do have some old carpenters Oz's uh, send them my way and I'd be happy to uh, I'll be doing a video on them and restore them and bring them back to like new or better condition and and put them to work again. That's pretty. That you know, it almost looks like a maple. So look, it's a hardwood. I wonder if that's a maple. Isn't that pretty though? All right, let's let's uh, let's put it back together and see how it uh, turned out. All right. Nice to have a proper handle on here. So we'll put our machine pin on first. We'll put our hand guard. Beautiful Atkins handle. A leather washer. Very cool there. So what do you think? That's what I call a proper handle for Henrietta. That's much better. A handle where you can get two hands on if you need to, or two hands top, top or bottom, or two on the top, uh, versatile, much better. M huge improvement in my opinion. I never did like that other handle, but uh, that turned out good. Beautiful Atkins original wood handle, original wing nut. That's just sharp, isn't it? just love it so thank you to Luke uh, for those fine tools from your grandfather I really appreciate that tell your mom thanks for the hoodies as well and for Patrick um, uh, for all the handles and the three crosscut saws uh, they will be treasured so thank you very much for that and that's it uh, we'll see you uh, see you the next time around